When I was young, I did all kinds of things with my dad. One of my favorite memories was the father-daughter dances. Now, I'm going to prom without him. No matching ties. No hiding so he wouldn't see me too soon. No standing on his toes while we dance. He didn't even get to send me off. I never got to see his proud face as I walked down the stairs. It's been five years. And it still doesn't matter. It's like time moves in slow motion without him. But when they brought the flag, I couldn't speak. I couldn't move. I just wanted to leave and never come back. But I had to go to the funeral. The gunshots. They scared me. Is this how he died? Dear Opal, when you were born, you couldn't breathe very well. So we went to the hospital in Des Moines and spent a whole day together before mom joined us. From the moment I saw you, I loved you and I knew you were my girl. I loved the time you and I spent together and hope for many more memories. Some of these things include talking about when I was a boy, doing fix-it projects, building pinewood derby cars, learning new piano songs, and the father-daughter dances. I pray that God will allow me to dance with you at your wedding, too. When he pushed me on a swing, I felt like I could fly. Childhood was so sweet, but now I'm here, alone. We used to go on adventures. It didn't really matter where. Maybe we just set out in the car, turning right so many times. He used to give my brother and me horsey rides, where we'd sit on his back and he'd crawl around on the floor. Some days, he took me around the living room. Other days, he lifted me onto his back and took me to the moon. Our imagination was endless, until it ended. Now we can't do these things. We can't talk about my future or my past. I miss having our inside jokes. You're being way too overprotective. But now you're gone. Who's gonna be there for me now? Why did you have to leave so soon? I didn't want to.